bit of a break and we thought this might be a good time to welcome everybody back and, and talk about what Operation Blue Santa is, is really all about because that's why this parade takes place to benefit those children in need. Now today we are expecting about 30% of all the toys that are needed to be donated from this parade but that leaves 70% more and here to talk more about it is Joe Munoz with Operation Blue Santa. Thanks for being here this morning. Good morning Ron and Judy. You worried about the turnout because of the rain? No, no. It like actually, a lot of people still we, made it A lot of people out. did come out and I, I understand some more are still coming out so yeah. uh, just bring the toys. We certainly can use them. So how many toys do you typically get? You said like 30% of what's needed? Yeah, the, this parade provides about one third of what we need. Wow. Uh, we still have to provide toys for between 12,000 and 15,000 children here in Austin, which is about 3,500 families. That's a huge need. It Does is. the need get greater every year? Well, we've kind of tapered off uh, at about 15,000 kids. Uh, that's what the expectations are this year. So um, we can certainly uh, use those donations this year. And what do you need the most? We need toys uh, for the age groups of infant until about two years of age, and um, eight to 14 years of age is where what we What kind need. of, s explain, what some, give some examples of what some of those toys might be so when people are out shopping this weekend, well, they can on pick the them up. on the infant toys, uh, those are for uh, toys that they can play with. Uh, normally, it's something that would last a year, somewhere between, you know, $15, $20, $20 a, a toy. Um, if, if not something less, but you know, something that the kid would appreciate. I, I know that it's really hard to, to put a finger on exactly what we need um, as it relates to a single item, but things that, that kids could, could use for the whole year would, would be something that would, would, would be really, really nice. Well, Joe, we appreciate all that you do throughout the year. It is a year-long effort, Operation Blue Santa and yes, the Chewy's Parade, and it culminates in this glorious day. And then, of course, the delivery, which is coming up when? Yes, the delivery is coming up on December the 17th. We'd love everybody to come out. If you need more information about specific toys, uh, you can go to our website at www.bluesanta.org. Bluesanta.org, and if they want to volunteer to deliver toys, that, they can, that's always that a great correct. thing it's to a do. Great, it's, a great, it's a great turnout, we'll, and it will feed you lunch. Okay, that's a deal. Thank you so much, Joe, Thank for Thank you being guys for everything you've morning. done for us. Now, I know we've been seeing down on the ground that wonderful uh, drum and bugle corps. That was great, and the bagpipers, exciting. The Pipe and Drum Corps from the Emergency Services Pipe and Drum Association. We've seen lots of our first responders taking part in this parade. They do so many good works in our community and they're taking time out to uh, be with us this morning. And you know, Austin EMS has been nationally recognized for their talents and their works in this community, and they have over 400 employees taking care of local Austinites. Look at that fire truck. Austin Fire Rescue all decked out for today's parade, all decked out for the holidays. This is an AFD ladder truck, always a favorite. Every little girl and boy loves to see the fire truck. The ladder truck helps represent the Austin Fire Department, and this is part of Operation Blue Santa. The fire stations also serve as donation sites. And we thank all the brave men and women who serve in the Austin Fire Department here in Central Texas. And now we're seeing the Summit Dragon Lion Dance Team. These folks are based out of Austin Summit Elementary School. They're in North Austin, been around forever. The Summit Lion and Dragon Dance Team not only teaches children the art of lion and dragon dancing, it focuses to, on building discipline and leadership in its members. All the money raised during their performances goes towards scholarships for their members and towards the Vietnamese Dual Language, Pro language Program at AISD. Let's watch for them. What a wonderful thing to participate in. The Summit Lion and Dragon Dance Team. That 
looks like Belle. All these princesses, <laughs> Disney characters greeting the kids along the parade route today. They're having so much fun, I guess they don't realize they may be a little cold, too. Huh? <laughs> I certainly would be cold in that outfit. And this is the Texas Army National Guard. They're proud to be a part of Operation Blue Santa once again this year. They're represented by these Humvees. They're a big part of the parade, helping to control traffic in the downtown area and also coming down Congress Avenue. Now these fancy trucks that you see right now, those are the ones from Capital Chevrolet that are gonna be going down the entire parade route to accept all the toys from the kiddos that came out today to donate. And pretty soon I'm sure they're going to stop and the kids will run into the street and donate those toys. And for they get so Disney. excited I doing know. that. It's too. exciting to watch it too, just heartwarming. I think Blue Santa himself is coming down Congress Avenue right now, which is always the highlight for the kiddos. She's got her candy lane she's, game. And she's, <laughs> she's ready. Like, There's Blue Santa. This is the Operation Blue Santa float. You know, this started by four Austin police officers way back in 1972. And now it's made up of members of the Austin Police Department, the Fire Department, the Texas National Guard, Austin Energy, Austin Water. Everybody takes part. And as Joe said, 3,500 families are going to be helped with gifts and a holiday meal. What a way to brighten their holiday season. We'll be and telling you more about giving toys and, and donating to Blue Santa for the next few weeks. And if you can't uh, and you'd like to donate some money too, obviously they could accept that and go out and buy the gifts that are going to be needed for the certain age groups. And to do that, all you have to do is call 220-BLUE or visit bluesanta.org or drop a toy off. Is that, off, is that Art Acevedo, our police chief? I better stop talking and let the chief talk. <laughs> he might arrest you. Oh, yeah. to get the crowd going. Good. Como estas, Chief? Good. It's Judy. <laughs> Chief should have been a rock star, huh? Uh, yeah. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Oh, boy. Look what we have coming up now. This is the Punto Los Texas, Texas Wranglers. Always a good one. Oh, won many, many awards, Austin Music Awards, Best Latin Traditional Band, Best Country Bluegrass Band. And this is their ninth year to participate in the parade. Look at the next float coming up. This is always a crowd pleaser, the Coke Polar Bear, presented by Coca-Cola. And this was our first big float in the Chewy's Parade. It was made specifically for the Chewy's Parade. It is a 45-foot tall, well, just lovable guy, ready to ring in the holiday season. He weighs 94 pounds when deflated and is made of nylon PVC. And just to let you know more about these balloons that are featured in today's parade, it takes over 15,000 cubic feet of helium to fill the floor balloons making their way down the route today. Now, the, the floats are built in Indianapolis by Expo Design, and they're shipped down here in three semis where the build crews put them all the elements together over the span of four days and get them ready for the big event today. Here more Capital Chevrolet. Yeah, please. ready to take those toy donations. We're getting close. That's quite a headdress there. <laughs> Look at that little girl. <laughs> Let's go back down on the street and see how Kristen Curtis is doing down there. You have a, a parade goer with you there? I do. What's your name? Devin. Devin, how old are you? Eight. 
And uh, did you bring a toy for the parade today? Yes, ma'am. What did you bring? Let's see. Looks like we got the uh, Lunar Sand race car, and then we have uh, hanging monkeys. Did you pick out these toys? Yes, ma'am. Oh, are you excited to give them away? Yes, ma'am. How come you picked these? Do you really like playing with them? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> All right, so we've got uh, one of many kids here. This is Devin, who's very excited to give to other children today at the Chewy's Parade. So, uh, thanks. <laughs> And he's very polite, too. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Love those manners. <laughs> I know. It is fun for the kids to pick out the toys they want to donate. It usually is something they enjoy playing with themselves. This is the Jet Blue Float featuring come on, come on. Casino, and it's pulled by Austin Water. It's a UT themed float. And that was a great football game, the Longhorns oh, won no, on Thanksgiving. How exciting was that? Nail biter to the end. Casino's members are all 14-year-old eighth graders that have been playing together for three years now. Last year was their first appearance in the parade, and they're glad to be performing on Jet Blue's float. Once again, let's hear it. Here come some of those crazy dancing turkeys. We love these every year. Denise Reed and her friends and family collect toys to decorate their car. They donate them at the end of the route. And we're glad those turkeys managed to escape the ovens this year. They're having a good time. Bob, what are you seeing toys. down there? It's so loud now, I guess Bob can't hear me. But here's Bob FM. This is the Bob FM float. And the group you're hearing is Aftermath. They've played together for eight years. And they were named School Jam USA's top team band in the nation last year. And they are currently in the studio recording a full-length CD. Some talented young people there. You can catch them at Auditorium Shores on New Year's Eve. Their name, Aftermath. Palm girls down there. I think these might be with the Dallas Stars. I'm just guessing though. Yes, they are with the Texas Stars. Here we go. And of course the Texas Stars hockey team plays at the Cedar Park Center. And last Saturday, we're told that all the spectators who came to watch the game were encouraged to bring a bear to donate during their teddy bear toss. They collected more than 1,600 teddy bears for Operation Blue Santa. Now, now we're looking at the Roundoff Works Federal Credit Union, though. They're making their first appearance in the parade with their 1952 Chevy. Randolph Brooks Credit Federal Credit Union is proud to serve the Austin area and is the only institution to offer 15 cents back anytime members use their debit cards. When do you ever hear about that? <laughs> That's fantastic. All the Capital Chevy volunteers too, ready to take all the presents from the kids who came down here to donate. What a face. <laughs> He's ready. Our next float is the KGSR Shady Grove float featuring ghosts along the Brazos and it's pulled by Austin Water Utility. 93.3 KGSR, Kristen Curtis is here from the radio station today helping us down on the street interviewing folks. 
So, Bob, what's happening down there on the streets right now? Well, Ron and Judy, I just did want to point out real quick that Shady Grove, uh, guy has a lot of guts wearing an A&M shirt. I don't know if you heard what happened Thursday night. Final game ever, 118 years of this game. Texas beat Texas A&M 27-25. And he's not on his A&M shirt. I guess that's pride. But there was the Longhorn in front of the float. Just for the record, the Longhorn was in front of the Ivy. Maybe the way it should be, I guess. That was a great game, Bob. That was Bob. an exciting was game. And he very... was right there. Bob was there down on the field for the big game, and oh, that was an exciting finish. My what a cousin, rivalry. My cousin David and Susie were staying with me, and they went to the game and got got back to my house at 1.30 in the morning, and as Susie said, David, are you okay to drive? You know you're going to get sleepy on the way there. He says, I am so excited. What a finish. What a finish. I won't be going to sleep. He came home and watched the replay till 5 in the morning. <laughs> I think it made a lot of Longhorn fans happy and, and a little bit sad to see that rivalry going away. I mean, it's just been it so is. much a part of the Texas tradition. But with all these conferences so changes, who knows, we may see them again. Oh, this is the Frankston High School Marching Band presented by Fomark Real Estate. They're located southeast of Dallas, and this is Frankston's third appearance at the Jewish Children Giving the Children Parade, but the band has been around for 75 years, performing throughout the Southwest. And a little note about them, too. This is the group that's traveled the furthest to participate today. They traveled 223 miles to get here today. We appreciate it making that drive and entertaining us this morning. Playing holiday favorite, Jingle Bells. Coming up the street, the KLBJ FM band. Of course, KLBJ FM, the Rock of Austin. You can check out Dudley and Bob in the mornings and listen to your favorite rock music all day long. There's a little rocker right there. <laughs> we have a lot of radio stations that participate in this. And they help up Operation Blue Santa so, so much to get the word out for all the different drop-off locations. And also, we thank them for supporting Blue Santa. And the listeners are always so generous. Oh, yeah. Same thing with Capital Chevrolet. They always donate their trucks and offer their trucks every year for the parade. It really is a community effort. Community-wide effort. Everybody takes part. It's a team effort. Well, like you were saying earlier about the group that raised all the teddy bears, besides what we're talking about and the parade and the drop-off locations, there's groups behind the scenes that are constantly raising money and collecting toys for Blue Santa year-round. This is a group from success. the Austin Outlaws. They're celebrating their 12th year. This is the Austin Outlaws women's football team, the longest-running women's football team in the entire country. I didn't know and that. And the athletes are from 18 to 50. Their season runs April to July. I'll have to go see them play sometime. That looks like a great time. We'll be right back in just a moment. 